Oh my gosh, I'm home. Uzbekistan. Oh. I woke up at like 4 a.m. because of like the whole time shift jet lag thing. It's almost like it's literally the opposite of what it is in Fort Collins. It's like 5 o'clock here. It's like 5 o'clock there in the afternoon. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna head back upstairs to our condo and start editing this movie. It's gonna be a long video. <laughs> Listen to all those birds. right now to our to our family friend's house in our family friend's truck it's a pretty pretty old truck you're gonna be driving right yep yeah my brother's driving we brought my little brother's bed we threw away mine because it's pretty old we're gonna buy a new one and now we're taking my parents beds bed to her house uh, I'm gonna miss this place with it's really ugly dark gray walls which I joke about having it look like a prison from a black and white movie it used to be like a nice nice little burgundy color but then they painted a dark gray and it looks ugly I'm gonna miss it no I'm not who am I kidding are you gonna miss this place on my yeah hopefully we'll never have to come back here ever again we still haven't got the condo thing figured out so right now our plan is to just rent Stop. Our plan is to just rent right when we come back and then continue our hunt for the for the condos. <laughs> We're finally about to leave. It's 5, 5.15 and the shuttle arrives at 6, 6 something. Um, as you can hear by the echo, this room is now finally completely empty except for the, for the stuff I'm, I'm bringing. Uh, this year I want to do this one little thing where I'm going to start a stopwatch like as soon as we get out the door and then see how many hours it's going to take for us to reach Uzbekistan from door to door like around the world. It's going to be more than 36 hours I'm willing to bet. Okay, um, update. It started hailing now. Those are big hails. The rain stopped. The shuttle's about to come. Now, just so I don't forget, I'm going to start the timer. No, 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 no. no. Start now. into the trip we just got to the Denver International Airport and my parents are trying to check in over there
put my cameras down way down there and I recorded a bunch of stuff with this sound but the mic accidentally turned off but in summary I got a window seat my brother got a window seat we have an empty seat right here my brother has an empty seat right there we got pretty lucky and now we're about to take off he wanted me to say that we're at the very 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 back of the plane <laughs> so we can recline all the way back without feeling like a douchebag. Okay, so this part needs a little explanation. So we were, we had just, we had just taken off to Denver and we landed in Boston. Because to save money, we had bought, we had bought a, a flight from Denver to New York with a stop in the middle at Boston somewhere. And then we literally stayed in Boston for like less than a minute. Our plane landed right as the other one was about to take off. So we like ran through the airport. I didn't have time to record. And then immediately got onto our next airplane and then we flew off to New York. It was like a 40 minute flight. I got a window seat again. I hate airplanes now. My legs with the whole, all the vibration stuff, it just hurts. But we're in New York. New York. New York, New York. I don't think this is right. We wanted to go to a place with like a sidewalk and like the actual streets. But I don't think that's gonna work. I just wanna see New York. New York, New York. Now we're on the other side of this little section that we were walking by. And it says no walking. There's no access. And I just realized that this giant building behind us is a hotel. And all those windows, <laughs> there's no covers at all. So you can see into literally every single room. And that guy's blowing his nose in his car. Okay, I love New York. Where you have uncovered hotel rooms and guys blowing their noses inside cars. Okay. Do you remember that guy that was just smoking right next to the no smoking area sign? And now, there's a security guard over there in that yellow vest smoking literally right next to that no smoking sign right there. What a hypocrite. It's just a super short layover in Moscow, Russia. And then in about 45 minutes, we're getting on the next plane to Tashkent, Uzbekistan. We just have to find our gate.
The police told me I couldn't record in there. So I'm just recording right now, pretending not to record. <clears throat> the airport inside looks a lot, lot better than it did last year and the years before. It was like actually nice and cool in there and no lines. There's a few things that I wanted to explain in the video because like after this point on on our trip I was just like so happy being home that my mind just sort of went crazy and, and everything I said just didn't make sense I was talking about like camera charges and stuff and yes, I really want to get this video finished, so I'm literally filming at like midnight outside in the dark. The feeling of coming home to our home country, I sort of tell people that it's sort of like coming home from a seven year vacation. It's, I tell people that it's sort of like coming home from a, from an, from a long, from a, from an overdue no, from a vacation that's gone on for too long. It's sort of like, America just doesn't feel like home. You can't really just sit back and stretch your legs mentally. You know, for the last seven years, every day that, that like we wake up, it's like the first thing that comes to our mind is like, we're not home, we're in like some place around the world. This, this is home. So that's why, as you can probably understand, the how overjoyed we were to finally be back home. We're gonna be here for the next two months. I'm actually, we're leaving the city tomorrow to go to our hometown, but oh, just the feeling of coming home, it made me crazy happy. Okay, I think that's it. I hope that's it, because I'm not coming back outside. So I'm just gonna resume the video. Whew, it's kind of chilly. Hello, es difícil disimular lo que pasa por mi mente cuando te tengo de frente. Yeah. Esas ganas de tocar ese cuerpo lentamente, divertirnos malamente con tu piel. Hasta que la noche se acabe. Baila conmigo, tú no bailas con cualquiera Hagamos en la fiesta nuestra si tan primavera No estamos para acordarnos de tantos malos momentos Estamos para disfrutar y vivir una nueva era La más loca, la que más se atreve La envidia de todas las mujeres Está soltera y también como lo mueve this is where our condo is. It's been 34 hours since we left. There we go. I haven't even seen our our place yet. Hey, Mustafa, خلاص. The battery in this camera is literally dying. I think I'm gonna end this whole video here. <laughs> I need to charge it. It is so nice to be back home. Salam alaikum. How are you, sis? Hi, Ashirama. We have to use these plugs in Uzbekistan and pretty much everywhere in the rest of the world. This actually came with my charger, with this plug, so I'm gonna switch it out. All right, now I'm gonna end the video. Okay. 
Ella se lo goza con un funky, funky La beso y brinco como un monkey, monkey Es tan dulce que le dicen pinky, pinky, bebé Eres mi miel, mi Anabel Tu favorito y tu perro fiel Ese nivel en que te cargas Se te ve tan bonita en esa tanga Dale, muévelo, muévelo, muévelo Cuando puente estreme a mi tajo de flow Dale, muévelo, muévelo, muévelo Naciste pa' esto, pa' el reggaetón Baila hasta que la noche se acabe Bailamos salsa y reggaetón Eres hermosa y a tu cuerpo lo sabe Que bailas con esa pa'